So now I just want to bring in the idea of inverse. If I have a number, uh, say 2, what will be the inverse of 2? Inverse of 2 will be 1 by 2. Now, if I have 3 by 2, now if I talk about inverse, inverse of 3, 3 by 2 will be 2 by 3. Or I can express this as 1 by 2 by 3. Now when it comes up, it becomes 2 by 3. So this is the idea of inverse. Now, using the idea of inverse, Using the idea of inverse, what I'll do is, I'll talk about second theta and other remaining trigonometric ratios. So if I say cosec, cosecant theta, in short, you write it as cosec theta. So this is the inverse of sine theta. That means 1 by sine theta. So if you remember, what is sine theta? It will be sine theta is perpendicular by hypotenuse so when it comes up it becomes hypotenuse by perpendicular so in terms of side cosec theta is equal to AB by perpendicular is AC <coughs> now the second trigonometric ratios that I want to talk about here relating with the inverse so that will be second theta Second theta is, in short, it is written as SEC sec theta. So this is this will be the inverse of cos theta. And you remember what is cos theta? Cos theta is equal to base by hypotenuse. When the denominator comes up, it becomes hypotenuse by base. So comparing or naming according to the figure, I have hypotenuse is AB and basis BC. So the last one is our cotangent theta. So the short form of this is cot theta. This will be the inverse of tan. So 1 by tan theta. And 1 by tan theta means sine theta by cos theta so if i bring this up it becomes cos theta by sine theta so cot theta can be expressed as cos theta by sine theta and it is it is the inverse of tan so now if i further expand cos theta you know that cos theta is base by hypotenuse and sine theta is perpendicular by hypotenuse if i bring the numerator above it becomes base by hypotenuse into hypotenuse by perpendicular hypotenuse hypotenuse cancel so it becomes base by perpendicular which is equal to bc by ac <coughs> so these are the six trigonometric ratios uh, i've just discussed and you should remember it is not difficult if you follow this pattern properly. Just know the pattern. Like in the earlier uh, uh, teaching class, I have started with sine theta, cos theta, and tan theta. I have been following a sequence. So try to stick to the sequence all the time so that you remember things in a proper sequence so that you don't get confused later on. So this is about trigonometric ratios.